Right, hello, KD2IBP, Ray. Uh, today we're going to test the effectiveness of this bug assault little mini shotgun. Basically what goes on is you uh, pour granulated salt, granulized salt, into this little reservoir over here. It's kind of like a uh, hopper. And uh, when you pump it, that, some of that salt goes before the air chamber and uh, fires at the muzzle of this, uh, it's not a rifle, it's like a little shotgun, uh, like a beat blaster, like a sand blaster, if you will. It's got a little safety on it, you cock it, release the safety, take a shot at your, uh, your prey, and uh, I, I tell you what, it's pretty effective. I, I gave it a shot when my old lady went out to go pick up our youngest kid, and uh, I got it for her maybe two years ago as like a little augmentation to Christmas gifts and she didn't want anything to do with it so it sat in the closet but I had two mosquitoes in the house today and uh, I took two mosquitoes and a moth out when, inside of a minute with this little uh, device and uh, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to take the GoPro we're going to mount it on the top of this receiver I don't know if you'd even call it a receiver on this but um now we're going to take it for a little uh, seek and destroy mission, okay? Now, uh, although these little parasitic uh, beasts that we're going to be firing out of the sky um, are probably a little far leftist communists, but I doubt they're uh, orthodox, otherwise I uh, would have used kosher salt. But it's not kosher salt, all right? So uh, here we go. Phase two of the test of the bug assault. All right, so safety is always a factor when you're playing with uh, any sort of projectile tossing equipment, whether it be a firearm, uh, air gun, uh, whatever you have it, a slingshot even. So <clears throat> you want to know how damaging the effects of the shot are if in the event you miss your target and either penetrate it, you over penetrate it and you hit something behind it, or you miss it entirely and you wind up hitting something from the left or the right, up or down. Uh, so what I did was I broke out this tomato. And we're going to hit it and see what kind of damage it does with the bug assault. All right, so there was definitely a puff of um, salt. And it didn't even penetrate its skin. It's still baby smooth. It's like rubbing my finger on the back of a baby's bottom. Let's do it one more time. We're gonna bring it a little closer. Safety off. All right, so the baby's crying a little bit. And you may have penetrated the outermost layers of the membrane around the tomato, but uh, definitely nothing terrible. If you get shot in the arm or any other tissue on your body, you're not going to uh, be hurt. If you get shot in the eye, you're going to be crying for a long time. Uh, I, I don't recommend you point this at anybody. Uh, just like any other gun safety, you keep it pointed in a safe direction until you're ready to fire. You keep your finger out of the trigger group until you're ready to fire. And don't point it at anything that you're not willing to destroy or at least season up. All right, so that's it for the tomato test. I think this is safe to fire in a household environment, provided you don't hit anybody in the eye.